I'm going to show you what happened during a Senate hearing today. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I saw this as I was kind of surfing around the web, getting ready for this broadcast right here. We are going to talk about substantive things. And I think this is kind of substantive because just this just lends credibility to the thing that I always, always say, you guys always say, is that this is just a big dog and pony circus sideshow. And like George Carlin said, it's a big club and you ain't in it. This is my senator from Oklahoma, Mark Wayne Mullen, challenging the Teamsters president to a fight right here right now this is pretty interesting and entertaining i gotta give him that now let's talk about mr o'brien himself his behavior as everybody knows and it's here in the last time <laughs> him and i kind of had a back and forth i uh, appreciate your demeanor today it's quite different but after you left you got pretty excited about the keyboard in fact you tweeted at me one two three four five times and let me read what the last one said um it said <laughs> Greedy CEO who pretends like he's self-made. Sir, I wish you was in the truck with me when I was building my plumbing company myself and my wife was running the office because I sure remember working pretty hard and long hours. Pretends like he's self-made. What a clown. Fraud. Always has been. Always will be. Quit the tough guy act in these Senate hearings. You know where to find me. Any place... Any time, cowboy. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. If you want to run your mouth, we can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold <laughs> oh, oh, stop it. Is that your solution every poll? <laughs> No, no, sit down. Oh, no, you're a clown. Sit down. Look at you. You know, you're a United States. Because you're a clown. And yeah, the Teamsters guy is a clown. Mark Wayne Mullen is a clown. Bernie Sanders, who's trying to break this up, is a clown. They're all basically welfare recipients. They are making money minimum $174,000 a year. Do you make $174,000 a year? Most of us don't. Making $174,000 being political parasites. Doing nothing, doing nothing about the IRS. They have what it takes to take what you've got, domestic terror cell. Doing nothing about the wars, shoveling boatloads of money to Ukraine. Uh, they'll probably spearhead the CBDC. Doing nothing about the fiat currency Ponzi scheme of the Federal Reserve. Nothing at all. What's up, Tony? What's up, Reluctant Prophet? Thanks for being here. Sam Fisher, uh, our guy, 936, John is here. So let's, let's watch some more of this. Son. By the way, you guys could have been anywhere tonight. You chose to be here. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try to make this worth your time. Sit down, oh, okay, okay. Sit down please. All right. Please. I got to see this again, him standing up like that. This is a place. If you want to run your mouth, we can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, stop it. Is that your solution every poll? <laughs> No, no, sit down. Oh, you're a clown. Sit down. Look at you. You know, you're a United States senator. Sit down. Oh, okay, okay. Sit down, please. All right. Can I respond? Mr. Hold Tim. it. Hold it. If Hold we can, no, I have the mic. Said. I'm sorry. This is Hold what it. he said. You'll have your time. Okay. Can I respond? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> this is a hearing. And God knows the American people have enough of contempt for Congress. Let's not I don't make like it worse. Thugs. <laughs> and you're, you're and you're I don't. Bernie is so right. I couldn't agree with him more. We should have maximum co contempt for Congress, which is the opposite of progress. Like you, because you Hold just it. described yourself. Hold it. <laughs> Sam Fisher's like, I would have let him fight. Me too, man. It's like, come on. Now you'll get something done. Now we're getting somewhere in Congress. You have the mic. Yeah. You have time. All Make right. Your statement. Then let's do this, because I did challenge you, and I accepted your challenge, and you went quiet. No, I didn't go quiet. I was, no, I was, no, no, you no, no, challenged no. me to a cage match, no, 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 acting no, no. like a 12 year old school yard hold goalie. Excuse me, hold, hold it. No, excuse me. I, have I will mic. say, I will say exactly. Senator what Mullen, said. I have the mic. You have questions on any economic issues, anything that's like, go for it. We're not here to talk about physical abuse. You brought, we're not talking yeah. about, of course, and, I did. And let, me, let me show you his hearing because I want to, I want to expose this thug to who he is. And Could you not point to me? That's disrespectful. All right. I don't care about respecting you at all. I, respect I don't respect you, you respect. at all. So all right, hold me, it. Let me, let hold me. it. No. You don't want to hold it. The most hold it, people. please. Act it. Please. All right. This is a, excuse me. Mm -hmm. This is a hearing to discuss economic issues. <laughs> all right. If you have questions for Mr. O'Brien or anybody else on what 
He has said, go for it. I mean, but we're not here to talk about fights or I'm, anything else. I'm quoting. Comrade Bernie is going to be the peacekeeper. Ain't that a ain't that a hoot? And exactly what he said. You can and say what is, you want. This is this is your this is your witness you brought. And witness. let me I'm I'm exposing him. You can as talk anything you want. Right. So, so in no 2013, nope. in 2013, O'Brien was suspended by the Teamsters for intimidating your own members. In 2014, uh, you were um, part of what would you say organizing? the harassment and intimidation of the top shelf crew? Chef, not uh, chef. Tra oh, top, oh top, top chef, okay. And then, uh, and I think in the reports they said sexual r racist and homophobic slurs and death threats, 14 tires were sliced and five teamsters were arrested and you said, well, I had nothing to do with it, but however, in that same statement you said, but if I get called to, to <laughs> test file, I'll plead the fifth. This is, this is what, this is a witness you brought in here. In 2017, you were removed as lead negotiator by then President Hoffa for UPS for your actions. Jimmy and then Hoffa. in 22, when this guy was elected, what he said after he got elected was he wanted to bring the mob mentality back to the Teamsters. This is your guy. And you're he, obviously he, going to give him he, a chance to respond can, to your oh, questions. Absolutely, because absolutely, this is my question. Because you called me out. I didn't call you out. He did. You said any time, any place. That's, That's that, that. Let's get the record okay. straight. Miss, hold it. No. Hold on. Mr. Senator Mullen, do you have a question for the witness? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's hear it. So, anytime, any place. No, that's April, not. April is a charity event. No, for, that's not. That's no, not. No, no it's a. He, no. Sir, we, he said it, and this is my He is time. here to so tell. No. parameters on what the questions can or cannot be asked, and I'll ask No, you're not going to. We're not going to be talking about yeah, physical <laughs> confrontation. Oh, this is about charity, for a union charity, because this, this is for is, firefighters. And you have a question April, on his testimony. April, 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 up. April Will you please you have a question on, on his. Let's not you be. You said it. You're an embar embarrassment. You said it, and I'm just simply answering it. You Mullen, go hold it. Hold it. Senator Mullen, you made some charges. Charges. Mr. O'Brien, do you want to respond to yeah, go the ahead, question? Please. Yeah, I mean, look, the reality of it is, you Except know, my challenge, Mr. Mr. Tough Mullen, guy. tough guy. Answer, yeah. hold it. Answer the questions. All right, you all want, if I, he, he made a lot of statements, right? And his statements are fiction at best. Fiction, I read them. Can you <laughs> answer? What? what? Hold, answer the question, please. I can't understand him. <laughs> <to be honest laughs> <with you. laughs> right. He rambles so much. What was your question, actually? Well, you said I made a lot of statements. No, but what's your question? I don't understand your question. Could you repeat it? You said any time, any place. What's your question? Accept the challenge. What challenge? You said any time, any place. I'm accepting yours, so why don't you come What back? challenge? What challenge are you talking April about? April 30th. How about we do it for a charity at the Smoking Guns in Tulsa, Oklahoma? No, yes. we're not going to be what talking about physical what confrontations here. You want to fight me? What do you say by any time, any place? Let's have coffee. Discuss our differences. <laughs> oh, that's what you said. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. All right. Well, let's say I don't have coffee. Let's I'd do it. To. All right. I'd love to. But do the, it. It's funny how you're back. Okay. Out. I don't snake. I just view this as a snake, the Teamster snake talking to the Senator snake. And that is my Senator, Mark Wayne Mullen. He's just, he's a snake. Bernie's a snake. This is just a brood of vipers just talking among themselves, pretending as they collect a hundred, a minimum of $174,000 a year off the American tax cattle, just fleecing us blind while they're doing all this crazy crazy stuff while the the dollars being devalued while the federal reserve is considering all digital currency which is sur surveillance coin and they want to start wars and they want to fund wars and they want to put money in defense contractors pockets and increase the coffers of the military industrial complex and the the human trafficking of the prison industrial complex it's all just a joke back on anything you did you're oh. the one you're a 100 senator should be the most influential and if we were to see a fight between this teamsters guy and mark wayne mullen it would probably be a fixed rigged fight people in this country making changes you're focused on okay you're focused you. on Why debate that's not even relevant you're an embarrassment this hearing is about the condition of the working class in america you that's what we're talking about you're the biggest thug here you brought you brought him in all right, you're, you're the being, biggest thug. Even look, your colleagues know, call you. Why you do what you're doing, Senator Hassan? Thank you very much, Mr. Senator Chair. Hassan, Senator Mullen, please yield. I've been recognized no, by the chair. Back to court. Uh, now, 